Real music, real interviews, real information. That's why we call it Real Gospel with the X-Man. X-Men, and what do the ladies of Clark Wise have in common with the Clark sisters? We'll find out after this song, depending on you, featuring Tweaky Clark. This is Real Gospel. Lord, I'm depending on you to help me to make it through. Clark Wise with Tweaky Clark. Clark.
Real Gospel is the place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories. I am joined by a dynamic, prolific, and anointed group of sisters, Clarkwise. Before I introduce you all officially, let me just say that Clarkwise is a contemporary gospel Christian group that consists of four sisters, Sandra, Latanya, Rochelle, and Tembia whose maiden name is Clark. Growing up as preacher's children, singing came naturally to them. They developed their tight harmony from years of singing together in support of their father, who is their pastor, and the many church services they attended. Growing up, the North Carolina Clark sisters were totally unaware of a Detroit-based group by the same name. As divine intervention would have Clark Wise to meet the Clark sisters, a collaboration was inevitable. Now, even though I tried to explain all that, I pray that I gave you all due diligence. Welcome to Real Gospel, Clark Wise. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Good to be here. Thank you. I tried to get some of that right. And I know even though I said all that, we still got to explain some of that. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, ladies, before you speak, make sure you introduce yourselves because we're radio, not television. So the listeners can't see you. But um, just sort of, you know, explain that, that you all, you know, I, I read some of it in the bio and I love your music, by the way. And I do Thank understand you. that there is a, a connection with y'all and Tweaky Clark. You know, help us understand what happened here. So we actually reached out to Twinkie to see if she would help with this collaboration on our single, which is actually titled Depending on You. She graciously accepted, and that is how the story began. So that's how she's actually um, featured on our single, Depending on You. Yeah, an awesome single, by the way. And I think there's a lot more to come. So talk to us about the writing, the arranging, you know, what, what, what the behind the scenes. Okay, and actually, my husband is a songwriter as well. He actually penned the song, depending on you. Um, we're actually preparing for about a 13-song CD right now where he has written most of our songs, but two of us have written songs. My sister Latanya, you can tell which two songs he wrote. Hi, well, yes, I am Latanya. Um, and, of course, there was Sandra, Latanya, Rochelle, and there's Timbala. Timbala. The baby. Um, so, yes. Yeah, so actually, um, I have a For Your Spirit slow and a fast version for your spirit. But I actually, um, years ago, I was on my steps and I just began to, I just asked God, God, give me a song. Give me a song. And that came to me, Lord, for your spirit, stand on me. So, you know, and that's how that came along. And as we began to sing it slow, then the, it came in the ear of long um, let's see what this sounds like as a fast version so we ended up um so i ended up with two songs so that's how that came about amen i could tell you i've been in some church you know i can just <laughs> i can not only can i feel the holy spirit but i could tell the child of y'all done, done some church yes. <laughs> no, <I'm just> and, <laughs> yeah yes so sister latonya she prophesies through the church a lot it's my dad's church He's the pastor. I'm the assistant pastor, um, Rochelle. And I'm Timbla. the baby. I'm Timbla. And when I, and you are right. Um, God gives most of us a prophetic word sometimes. And we just, you know, have church and let the Holy Ghost come down and have his way. Mm -hmm. Right. And on the, um, my sister, Michelle, she, you know, she speaks mine. I name mine out. But I'm disciple. I'm the spirit person. You know, God gave me my anointing years ago. I don't put that name on there. I, I just have that humble spirit. Whenever he uses me, he uses me. But I don't put a name on it. Amen. But we, you know, we do. We um, years ago, even before we began to sing, that a deacon come to the church. He was at our daddy's church years ago. Our family church, and he said, "You looked at us and said, you three ladies are gonna sing today.'" And that's um, one day, and um, we hadn't begun to sing yet. And we laughed at him. This is years ago. We laughed at him like sing, but that's how we actually came about. She's speaking of us being like uh, four, four, five, six years old. So we officially start singing in the church. I was um in the third grade, so it's eight, nine, and 10, and Timla being the baby came on later on. So wow. that's just how long we've been singing. It's been a very long time. Amen. But isn't that how God does things? It, it seems oh, like yeah. it always comes out of left field sometimes. So mm -hmm. give a shout out to your dad's church and the, the location, so the list, because y'all are in North Carolina, correct? Yes, it is Miracle Deliverance United Holy Church of America, Greensboro, North Carolina. Greensboro. Uh, uh, the street is actually Bridgepoint, yes. 
Or okay. Team 16, Bridge Point Road. Okay. Pastor Dr. Dr. Harry Leon Clark. Clark. Yes, Dr. Harry Leon Clark. And our uh, mother passed five years ago. She was a minister, Minister Rebecca Alcorn Clark. And it is a place where miracles happen and deliverance comes. So, Miracle Deliverance. We, and it is Dr. Clark. So we're known as the Clark yes, in this area. Yes. And, you know, it's my, my mother's side of the family is from North Carolina. So I'm in and out of North Carolina often uh, from a small town called Hassel. And so I'm not sure if you've ever heard of it, but um, I spent a lot of summers there uh, going to my grandfather's church. Uh, he was old school Pentecostal. You know what that means. So, uh, yes, 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 yes. And so... You all reached out to Tweaky Clark, and so explain to us the the, the the play on the name, you know, Clark Wise, Clark Sisters. Oh, so the way that works is because we started singing at 8, 9, and 10, we were the Clark Sisters of Martinsville, Virginia, period. Everybody knew us as the Clark Sisters, so when we considered one day recording, it's like, well, we're going to have to change the name. And we figured we wanted the, the element of Clark because that's all people have always known us for. And um, we thought about the clock itself and we flipped it to clock to clockwise instead of um, clockwise. So that was the way we kept our element was to actually rename it. We could no longer use Clark system. So we flipped it to clockwise. Wow. That's amazing. I mean, God is something else. So, you know, have when when you all spoke with Tweaky, do you did you get the sense and I because you all watched the documentary correct with about the Clark oh, sisters? Yes, 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 yes. And so, um, do you think that there may be a collaboration maybe down the line in the future between all sisters? I mean, we look at them as heroes. Right. That would be just such a dream come true on our end because, like I say, everyone knows the legendaries. We and even, and even when we heard them for the first time, see, because we didn't know of them. We were singing like uh, the Hawkins and Andre Crouch and look, my dad is quartet. We were singing quartet songs. And when we heard them for the first time, we were like, wait a minute, Clark sister, who, who are they? <laughs> but I promise you, when we heard them, it changed our lives. Yeah. That's all we began yeah. singing was Clark Songs. Songs. So yes, we love the legacy, who they are, everything about them. We just appreciate yeah. who they are. Right, so right, yes. Right. So let me ask you this, especially coming out of a holiness background, both of y'all, they they came out of the holiness background. You all came out of the holiness background. And when you heard their music, and I I'll I'll reach out to when I first discovered them. And I first discovered them when they did the song um You Brought the Sunshine. Because it actually crossed over. It crossed over. So, yes, yes. what what was that like for you all to hear them cross over like that, especially coming from a holiness perspective? For me personally, I'm going to tell you, I think our music should be heard everywhere. Right. I wasn't, you know, intimidated or anything like that, or or feeling like that it should be boxed in because I think wherever the people go, they need to hear that positive word. They need to hear about Jesus. I don't care where they are. So I'm like, it should seep into the the mainstream it should it should and that should be just a dream come true because the people need to hear the good news right amen amen i asked that question because today of course it's, it's different it's a different time but at that yeah. time it was sort of unheard of it was like oh right. my gosh you know yeah, right. yeah, yeah that's just not right you know you know how it was back then right and, right, and so right. it was a hard pill to swallow and so mm -hmm. you know here we are today there's all kinds of things going on in gospel music i won't mm -hmm. go there but um nonetheless let's talk about let's finish talking about this single and what more can we expect from you all as sisters in this forthcoming project so we're actually planning um our the release of our cd the 13 plus song cd so that's where most of our energy has been on just um there will be a, a video that's coming up as well a, a depending on you video and the release of our full project but hopefully the video will come out within another month or so i hope um and anybody can catch us on facebook and you can just search on the clockwise c-l-a-r-k W-I-S-C on Facebook and just reach out to us, tell us what you think, let us know, um, but that's how you can reach us. But yes, there, that's what's upcoming for the group right now. Well, give us, you know, let's break some news here on Real Gospel. You want to, you know, name a couple of songs, any collaborations from any artists that we should know about? You know, North Carolina is full of a lot of artists. Right. And other than um, Twinkie being on, yeah, we have a lot of musicianship. Um, so one of our producers, uh, 
Denver A. Wright um, from Raleigh, North Carolina. He um, penned, um, if you're going to pray, don't worry. I think it was for Tony Carey. Mm, like um, another producer, um, my husband's brother, which is Robert Irvin III, who is actually the keyboardist for Miles Davis. Wow. Um, yes. And another producer is the father of contemporary gospel music, um, Edwin Hawkins. He also consulted because my um, husband wrote a couple of songs for the Music and Art Seminar. We traveled to Los Angeles, to Oakland, and a couple of those um, because he accepted his music. So we have a couple of people that just came on, and we're just excited about everybody. And if anyone knows of the Rolling Stones, um, one of the um, uh, bass players, he's on one of the songs. Um, so many that I can even name. Uh, earth wind and fire's trumpet section some of the trumpeteers are on one of the songs it's just so much to i, I really can't even think of everybody at the moment but um uh can you think of anybody else that's on there that's, uh, there's a Morel. lot of there's, <laughs> it's morel uh former count basie um singer wow he, he's on um the christmas song we have a christmas song called the christmas song so before he passed he um we both did a so a uh, duet on that song. But again, there are so many friends and extended friends that we have on this project that we're so grateful and, and, and happy that God has allowed us to have all these, you know, to be a part of this project. We're very excited about it. We call it a jazz fusion um Christian contemporary sound. It definitely is. I, you know what? I can't wait for y'all to finish this project because I don't know about to the average listener, but you all just dropped some nuggets and some yeah. anointing all with the names that y'all that you just dropped just now. And I'm telling you, I just listening to the name of one of the songs, if you pray, don't worry about it. I just, I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, ladies, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> We're pretty excited about it. Yeah. We're, we're excited for you. And I want the listeners to continue to support your music. Ladies, it's been a pleasure having you on Real Gospel. Um, Clark Wise. And of course, the sisters are Sandra, Latanya, Rochelle, and Tamb Tam Timbala. 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 Thank you so much for helping me with that. And tell Thank the listeners you. where they can find out more about you, find out more about your music, and, and the address again to your church. Oh, yes. Yeah. So it is Miracle Deliverance United Holy Church, 1416 Bridge Point Road in the city of Greensboro, North Carolina. Again, they can catch us on our Facebook page. Just uh, look up Clockwise, search Clockwise, C L A R K. W I S C. They can also find us at YouTube on Clockwise, and um, if I'm not mistaken, also Twitter as well. So definitely catch us on the Facebook um, and iTunes. So you can go to iTunes, Amazon, all of those um, favorites to download the, the single even right now. Um, just find us, look for us. We're looking forward to hearing from everybody. Yes, and Mr. X, if you this is the baby Chimbala talking. We also one thing left out that we don't share with a lot of people is that when um, Hurricane Katrina, I don't know that hit down in New Orleans some years ago. Um, one of our songs that we did actually, we did a small little video of that um, at one of the beaches, and that actually played on BET, like literally BET on uh, over a weekend one Sunday morning years ago. So that was actually exciting for us as well that we were actually on BET. Um, you know, so we've done a lot. Amen. Amen. Look for them on YouTube. Search for the BET video, everybody. Ladies, I'm going to let you all have the the last word. And thank you so, so much for spending time with us on Real Gospel. Right. Thank you so much. Thank we you. appreciate you just giving us this opportunity mm -hmm. and thank the you. time. We appreciate you and your listening audience. Yes, we thank you so much. You all look forward to hearing from us, Clark Wise. You're listening to Real Gospel with the X-Men and the real flashbacks song of the hour is on the way. If you have diabetes and you're on Medicare, you may qualify for a free continuous glucose monitor system. Managing your diabetes is crucial to your health. The new CGM systems can automatically manage your diabetes better for you. And by using a CGM system, you can eliminate forever one thing most people with diabetes hate the most, finger sticks. Now it's possible to manage your diabetes better, end the painful finger sticks, and get a new CGM monitoring system at little or no cost to you. We even provide in-home delivery and do all the insurance paperwork for you. Now is the best time to manage your diabetes better and get your continuous glucose monitor. Call now for details. 800-396-0150 
That's 800-396-0150.